Here we are, boys. I've just met one of my fans. Respect to you, boys. And uh, I've told them to, to subscribe. And this man here has already said he's already subscribed. Now, I like meeting followers. And I've told him that I'm going to put some fish up on my channel. Uh, a few fishing ones uh, of some proper fish. So respect to you, boys. And respect to you. Although you didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> respect to you again there, mate. And as I've said, I've done HMP Wakefield before. And uh, I'm here again. I'm here again because my last HMP Wakefield was about the uh, prison authorities saw fit to move Charles Bronson where they had him here in Wakefield Prison for the best part of 30 years and uh, they'd started him playing dominoes with a few uh, respect to you mate I'm sorry people, I'm just having to dodge a crossroad here. See what I name I do in name of my followers. Respect to you. I just want to mention this part here because all these buildings here are all part of HMP Wakefield. And uh, this is where they used to have the lifers had come out and they'd uh, live in these buildings. and go out in towns getting a job before they finish the life sentence and were released back into community so uh, and, and this is where they also stay now the probation services and things like that I'll just get that on camera for you and uh, we're coming round corner here now and we're at the bottom end of HMP Wakefield like I've said and uh, all these buildings here on side are all part of the prison and as I've said before the way lifers used to go in when they were finishing off before they were released into society here on my here, this is the old social security for people that sign on. As you can see, all security on prison. And I'll just get this sign on for you people. And there you have it, look. HMP Wakefield. Let's see if I can get you a view over at back seat here. Never miss an opportunity, people. Let's see what they've got. And that's the back, people. I'm sorry if it isn't too good. But, uh, like I say, I'm here to report that they have recently moved Charles Bronson, where they had him for the best part of 40 years incarcerated in cellars of this prison HMP Wakefield and uh, they moved him to HMP Woodhill Milton Keynes because they had got him playing dominoes with a few inmates and uh, they believed they could rehabilitate him and uh, getting back on the main prison population. And as you can see here, people, we're just coming up to the main gatehouse and walking down towards me. I believe we've got a prison screw. Excuse me, boss, I need a prison guard. Have you got out to say about Yorkshire Ripper? Bite his face off in Huntley. 
You people at this prison thought it could be rehabilitated. Muppets. Well, as you heard there, this prison thought they could rehabilitate him and put him back into the main population. Uh, and like I reported on my previous video, that ain't even possible. You can't put a man in a glass box, glass box for 40 years and expect him to be rehabilitated. Respect you, mate. Yep. Check out Arthur Taylor on YouTube, mate. And uh, they've took him out after 40 years. It's a right or. Uh, and I said then, as soon as he got bored, as soon as he got bored, He'd bite first face off screw or inmate that he got chance to. Have you got out to say about Charles Bronson taking Ian Huntley hostage? After you people here saw fit to take him out of your cellar and said he can be rehabilitated playing a couple of dom games of dominoes. I reported it then and I'm saying it now. As Soon as he got bored and like he has, he snatched a prisoner. It's only a shame it won't to screw. Uh, like I say, he's took Ian Huntley, prisoner, and he's beating him. He's beating him. And uh, I think he'll kill him. Uh, they've had millions of cases like that here, but I'm here to get this on Charles Bronson because these Muppets saw fit to take him. Big respect here, there, boss. Smile for camera. Have you got out to say, boss? Have you got any comments to make? Have you got out to say, boss? You people saw fit to send Charles Bronson to Milton Keynes saying he can, he's all right, he's played a couple of games of Don, we knows. We'll put him up on wing. You've been telling him he's schizophrenic, freaking to death on him for 40 years in dungeon. I'm only sorry it won't a screw he got. It were Huntley. He'll be back here to put one of your under bed. One off, boss. One off, boss. Here, mate, come down here if you want a photo. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Check out my channel, Arthur Taylor on YouTube, you muppet. You want a photo? Get on. You want a photo? You're on prison property, please step off. No, no. You're on prison property. No, no, no. No, it's publicly accessible. Know your laws, mate. I do. I've 17 years behind the door. Throwing muppets like you off at landing. Strange ways. Ramby. Preston. Respect you there, mate. You'll be on YouTube later on. Now, as you can see, these people here, they're not willing to give no reason what would make them think. Have you got out to say about Ian Huntley taking an hostage, boss? <laughs> not Ian Huntley, boss. <laughs> Charles Bronson, boss. He's got Ian Huntley. It should have been you we got. <laughs> yes, and as you can see, this is main gatehouse, like I've said, at HMP Wakefield. Have you got out to say about Charles Bronson taking Ian Huntley hostage? 
at HMP Woodhill, where you idiots sent him thinking he could be rehabilitated by playing a couple of games of dominoes. You've had him in cellar for 40 years, boss. Are you real? Did you really think he could be rehabilitated? What about you, boss? Have you got out to say? Have you got out to say, boss, about Bronson taking Huntley hostage? No, Muppet. <laughs> Why don't you just say it out loud, mate, for camera? And you got a bottle? I spent years down them gyms training with people like you. I bet you're a gym screw. Yeah? I was there when uh, Paul Sykes chinned gym screw at Wakefield. Not at Wakefield, at Leeds. And then again at Durham with Dumbbell. He should have given you it with Dumbbell. Not biting, boss. Not biting, boss. No bottle? You'd be beating me up that block by now, wouldn't you? If I were in there. Da, 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 da. Have you got out to say about Charles Bronson taking hostage? Are you aware that you can't come on this side and start? I know my rights out here. I know my rights out here. What have you got to say about Bronson taking hostage? You mug. Get in and do your own job. I know my job. Have you got out to say about Bronson taking hostages at Woodhill? You mad heads thought he were rehabilitated. You've had him in cage how many years? 40. You thought you could rehabilitate him? Muppets? No bottle to send out, boss, cos I ain't got fucking prison uniform on. You mug, I'll throw you off at landing next time. And as you see, people, none of them. It don't matter how they're bait them up. They're not having it. We got out to say about Bronson taking hostages at Woodhill. You people thought he was rehabilitated because he'd had a few games of dominoes. You got no to say, boss. Go on then, you muppet. You got out to say, boss. What about that? Bronson taking hostage. What? He's taken hostage. What? Woodhill. Because I did an audit reporting him when you sent him your muppet saying he was rehabilitated because he'd had a couple of games of dominoes. You've had him in cellar for I don't know how long your muppet. Shut up, get on. Have you got out to say, boss, about Bronson taking hostages? Because your sent him said he'd been fucking uh, rehabilitated because he'd had a couple of games of dominoes. Muppets. How do you know? I know more than you think I do, you mug. Get in. Oh yeah, I'm going to be on YouTube later on. You're all going to be on YouTube later on. Because you Muppets sent Bronson to Woodhill because he'd had a couple of games of dominoes saying he'd been rehabilitated. You mugs. You sent him because you're scared to death on him. Yeah, you're a mug as well, love. You're on YouTube, I'm getting paid for it. Bye. Listen, get down that gym, love you. Have you got any drugs in that bag? You need that gym. Get that ass off.
You seem interested, boss. Don't tell me what I need to do. Don't tell me what I need to do. Don't tell me what to do. You're a screw. You're a screw. I've 17 years behind them doers with mugs like you abusing me. It's my turn now. It's my turn. No, I'll stand here and do it. I'll stand here and do it. I'll stand here. I'll stand here and do it. Don't suggest nothing to me. You muppet. On your bike, fat boy. And as you saw there, they've all got a gob when they're in a crew. No, no, I won't, mate. Respect to you, mate. And as I said, people, these mugs here constantly abuse the system. You right, love, it's on me now. I've turned it round, it's on me now. Uh, as you see there, people, them screws couldn't wait to jump in and uh, say the piece. I've turned the camera around because a couple of members of public rightly asked me not to put them on film. So I've turned it round. Uh, but like I've said, these people, these screws constantly abuse the cons. 24-7. They throw them off at landings, same as we threw them off at landings. And uh, this is what they constantly do. They're no better than police for abusing the system. There's another couple of members at public. I don't want to get on. But I'll get these screws S's on all day. Thank you. I'll be requesting a copy of that. You can have it when the police What? Here, yeah, yeah. Shouting abuse at members of staff. Yeah. Yeah. I've 200 videos doing this, love. Yeah, but you shouldn't be doing it. You should be recording and abusing members of staff. Do you know reactions yeah, like... <laughs> Have you got any drugs in that bag? Oh no, you're coming out, aren't you? You take them in. You don't bring them out. You take them in. I've 17 years banged up behind the door with screws like you fetching drugs in for me. Have you got any in there? I know you fetch drugs in to work. I know you fetch drugs in to work. I know, a lot of them have 17 no years behind. No, getting it off them, you mug. Just get your sin in. Go on, get your sin in. Go on, get your sin in. Bye. I've just turned it round there, mate. I've just turned, no, I've turned it round, that's what I'm saying. I've turned it round because this gentleman said so. I fucking know, I know I am, mate. So, no, mate, you're not. I've I have. I've turned it round. I'm respectful to my followers. I am respectful to my followers. My name's Arthur Taylor. I've got 200 videos. I'm here doing one on Bronson. Arthur Taylor on YouTube. Don't forget to press subscribe. <laughs> and my videos go right back through the system. 1972, approved school. I've been to Naughty Boys home. You listen to your mum and dad. We know what it's like, brother, in here, don't we, mate? Respect to you, mate. Thanks a lot. And there you have it, people. Supporters. Supporters. And I just want to get a shot of this behind me. And uh, I'd like to just say thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm sorry I had to turn the camera around. There were just a couple of members at public that objected to me filming.